Greetings, Dr. Victor here. BCAAs, not to be confused with BBC, are a special type of amino acids with a very particular set of skills. Very particular set of skills. So stick around until the end to find out if you should take BCAA supplements or if they are completely useless. Like your pet dog John, who doesn't even know any tricks and just sits around all day watching reruns of How I Met Your Mother. So listen, in this video we're gonna be covering BCAA supplementation and the benefits in muscle growth, muscle performance or exercise performance, fatigue and other applications. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoy the content, it helps growing the channel. Now listen, listen, to stimulate muscle growth or muscle protein synthesis efficiently or MPS, how the sophisticated kids are calling it, MPS. What? you need all nine essential amino acids in your blood and the BCAAs are a type of essential amino acid, so part of these nine. Now the studies show that you need all nine essential amino acids for muscle growth, so eating things like whole foods containing proteins like fish, meat, eggs, cheese or whey supplements, whatever type of protein supplements. In studies we see that if we add into the blood BCAAs, we don't see a proper muscle stimulation effect. MPS. We only see a maximal response when all essential amino acids are present in the blood. So just adding BCAAs in isolation won't do crap for your muscle growth. For us to understand better, let's look at this study in which 22 year olds received leucine supplementation. So leucine being a type of BCAA. These 22 year olds were immobili immob immobili immobilized. Immobilized? What? Immobilized. Immo immobilized? Immobilized? Oh my god, Im immobilized. <laughs> that was like a Russian gun. Immobilized. Ready for action. 22 year olds who were immobilized for 7 days with a knee cast. And they wanted to see if there are any differences in between a group that received leucine supplementation and one that was the control on muscle loss. And surprise, surprise. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. The ones that received 7.5 grams daily of leucine, a type of BCAA, saw absolutely no improvement in muscle loss. Again, supporting the fact that BCAAs in isolation are not optimal for muscle protein synthesis. But leucine does seem to be the most important factor for muscle protein synthesis, leucine being a type of branch chain amino acid. In another study on some young fit men, that sounds so wrong, young fit men. Anyway, 25 grams of whey protein containing 3 grams of leucine have the same effect on muscle protein synthesis as 6 grams of whey protein but containing 5 grams of leucine. What? What? So leucine amount is important for muscle growth. But if you consume adequate amounts of protein, so 25 grams per meal, adding extra BCAAs to this equation in your diet won't do anything for your muscle growth. Nada. Nothing. Niente. Maluma, baby. An interesting fact was if you consume valine or isoleucine, which are the other two types of BCAAs, you inhibit muscle protein synthesis even more because these little two assholes compete with leucine transport and reduce its action. Good job, isoleucine and valine, for being even more useless than wearing a mask like this. In conclusion, BCAAs are useless for muscle growth because most of us focused on muscle growth are getting adequate amounts of protein in our diet because this industry has drilled deep into our skulls that we need daily trucks of protein. So for most of us, taking BCAA supplements are useless for muscle growth. Whoa, relax! It's, it's only game! game. Why, Why you have, have to, to be mad? mad? But for those with suboptimal protein intake, elderly, vegans, those with low muscle mass, BCAA supplementation and especially leucine could have a beneficial role for muscle growth or muscle preservation. And the studies back this up. Now, you might not know this, but for fatigue, BCAAs could have a beneficial role. Athletes use amino acid supplementation for nutritional purposes and for recovery from fatigue. Fatigue! BCAAs have a role in suppressing the production of lactic acid, a substance that causes fatigue. In one study they wanted to see what would happen if you were to give a bunch of blokes some BCAAs prior to a treadmill exercise and uh, they would stop when they reached exhaustion. For those that received 20 grams of BCAAs one hour prior to the treadmill exercise, their time increased until exhaustion. 50 minutes in the group that received the supplement and 46 minutes in the group that didn't receive the supplement. So you can see that BCAAs can help with exercise performance if taken close to that 
exercise session, having a beneficial effect on perceived fatigue and pain. BCAAs could also have a role in mental health, as they have been seen to be significantly decreased in those with depression in comparison with healthy subjects. And a new study linked increased dietary intake of BCAAs to lower risk of depression and anxiety. <laughs> but these of course are not uh, current concerns. What? Dietary amino acids also seem to have a role in gut microbiome health, them acting as a type of neurotransmitter at that level, but we need more studies to know for sure. Now your best bet to get BCAAs would be from whole food sources, and basically these are the foods high in protein, such as cheeses, eggs, fish, meats, things like that, legumes, lentils, beans. But let's look at a list of foods high in leucine, and we can see unsweetened cocoa powder, pine nuts, smoked salmon, Parmesan cheese. By the way, can you guess what food has the most amount of leucine per 100 grams? How are you supposed to pronounce this Gruyere cheese? I have no idea. I never ate Gruyere cheese. It sounds like a weapon from the Germans. Gewer! Gewer cheese! So in conclusion, taking BCAAs when your protein intake is adequate is useless. Taking BCAAs alone without the other essential amino acids is again useless for muscle growth. Absolutely useless! BCAAs could aid in fatigue perception, increasing time to exhaustion, so they can improve exercise performance. Performance! Long live Mother Russia! Do you know anyone who takes preposterous amounts of BCAAs every day? especially on an empty stomach and while eating 200 grams of protein per day? Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch! Well, you better go and stop that person from throwing away all his money on expensive BCAA supplements and tell him to get some chicken breast or some fish or some Gruyere cheese. Thanks for watching! Hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. Like, subscribe if you did, uh, it helps growing the channel. And write in the comments, what do you think? Do you need them BCAAs? Hope this video helped and we'll see each other next time. Salut! See!